Hi everyone, another tutorial, this time a really neat little trick, creating a shared calendar in Teams for only the team members to share. Think of the scenario, um, for example here I've got let's say a year 9 calendar in this channel called Student Tests and basically what happens is this, all teachers that teach year 9, if they're going to give a test to the year 9, they will check the calendar, see how many tests they've got in the following week or the weeks to come, Find a nice space for the year nine so they're not overwhelmed with tests. Now, instead of having to collaborate with them or the teachers and seeing who's giving what, quick way, create a shared calendar, give it the year nine name like I've given here. I've got calendars here for year seven through to year 13. And then what you can do very quickly and easily check to see your class when they've got tests. So how do we do it? Well, I've got a sample team here for you. So I'm gonna to go to this team here, teacher training. And I'm going to go to the general channel. From the general channel, I'm going to go to files. And from files, we're going to open this in SharePoint. Now, basically, whenever you create the new Teams, a SharePoint is automatically created. Um, here it is. Uh, we're going to go now to site contents. And what we want to do, we want to add a new app. So we're going to add an app. scroll down here we go with the calendar app so we want to add a new calendar we can create as many of these as we like as you saw before i created calendars from year 7 through to year 13. okay so just click on it wait for a short while and then just give the calendar a name let's say i'm going to call this um year 10 tests and i create here we go. Um, here's our newly created calendar for this SharePoint site. It's called Year 10 Test. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on this. Now, this is only accessible by people which are members of that team, because remember, we're using that, that team's SharePoint site. I'm going to take the URL here at the top, I'm going to select it, right click to copy the URL. Now I can very easily go back to my teams, create a new tab in either the general channel or any channel you want it doesn't make a difference i'm going to add a new tab at the top it's going to be a website i'm going to paste the link to that calendar there give it the name year 10 tests and then click save that's it now everyone in this team has got access to this calendar only members of the team can access this calendar and you've now got a shared calendar for everyone in this uh, team okay i thought i would add one more thing here let's just have a quick look at the settings we got at the top so you've got events and calendar so just so that you know what's available you can create a new event very very easily by clicking on here and creating an event for your calendar you can write the title location the start time um, You've also got the calendar options here. Here's a really cool little one. You can connect it to Outlook. So instead of having to log into Teams for you to open the calendar and have a look at the calendar, you can actually connect this to your Outlook, Outlook 2016, and it will add the calendar there and you can book lessons or book tests, or you can see what tests have been added directly from your Outlook. You don't even need to log in to Teams or to go to the channel which has the calendar at the top. That's it.